Okay. All right, we're recording, so now we're on the VOD. So now it's important that we don't say anything. Mm-hmm. No one wants to talk. Not say anything. <laughs> we whisper in this. In this. All right. <clears throat> so where's your summon sign? I'm at the fire link right now. So there is two ways to progress now that we've beat the bell gargoyles. We can either go back to the undead berg or we can go down and quickly while we're at the firelink shrine probably want to go down the stairs next to the bonfire. Down the stairs? Um, ah, the stairs. You'll notice a familiar face. Is it is it amiibo guy? Mm, it's pretty close. Close. Oh, who's in there? No response. She cannot speak. Wait, reinforce Estus flask. That's what the firekeeper soul does. Ah, uh, do I want to do that or? Yep. Makes your Estus flask heal more. Use firekeeper soul. Estus reinforced. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I believe it around you should see somebody else uh, uh i see a cliff i see some more stairs let's go down those stairs oh. i guess he hasn't shown up yet who the uh guy in the jail cell oh jail cell guy hey, yeah i don't see anyone else there maybe he'll show up later uh there's an elevator here should i take that then Cool. Yeah, that's one of the two ways to get to the next area. So if you take a right, there should be a little tower with a door that you can go through. Uh. Oh, item over here. Gonna grab that real quick. The soul of a nameless soldier. Feeling good. Feeling groovy. Get killed, you shitty skeleton. Alright, you know what? You can just not do that to me. Yeah, they don't put up much of a fight. New Londo Ruins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look to the right, you'll see a doorway and kind of like a tower. Oh, wait. I have like 13k uh, souls. Should I go spend those or? You should probably spend it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I d just realized I never did that before quitting yesterday, so oops. Yeah, watching the bit of you fighting the Poros demon. And you're like, oh, I probably should have leveled up. <laughs> like, oh, you'll be fine. And I'm like, oh, you were level seven. <laughs> Oops. Probably should have leveled up. <laughs> it would, okay. would have been recommended that I do such a thing, yes. <laughs> yeah, we managed. And we still bop that de that That's the bridge demon, right? Yep. The punching attack one. Yeah, and we bopped him in fucking three seconds, so no big deal. Because we're the best at this game, and we've never died, you know? Not once, not never. And if anyone can prove otherwise, I'd love to see it. Deathless run continues. <laughs> never ended. This is part two of an ongoing deathless run. All right, so I got four, four jammies to put in. Um, I'm gonna do two in vitality and two in endurance, because I, I I feel like the, well, okay, you know what? Hang on. I feel like health I'm like all right on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to do a at least one in strength, you know. So. Mm -hmm. so 
strength is always good. So did uh, did you play uh, Demon Souls before this, or is, is Dark Souls the first time you played a Souls game? Dark Souls is the first Souls game I played. Garch. I've yet uh, to play Demon Souls. Oh, you have yet to play it. Otherwise, I'm sure that'll be fun though. I hear they cleaned up a lot of stuff with that game. It looks very pretty. Oh yes. Although we've both uh, we've both seen the artistic changes they made with the game and. Uh, not a hundo on those. <laughs> could have been better. Could have been worse. Yeah, exactly. They could have just completely changed everything you love about it, right? FF7 Remake? <laughs> then again, I didn't love that game to begin with. I'm pretty, like, okay on 7. I like 7. It's fun. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, if you, if you ever feel the need for, like, a kind of jank, but old-school PS1 RPG, it's definitely going to live up to the hype. Uh, in that way, I mean. S-Stock? An S-Stock sword? Okay, so the area that you're going to, if you go any further, you'll come up to some ghost enemies, which you currently cannot hurt. Okay, great. I'm not going to do that, then. So I'd advise turning back. Yep, <laughs> back the other way. The yeah, S-Stock is a pretty good uh, straight sword that uses thrusting attacks. Is it beefier than my current sword? Or my axe? I think it's... Or it wouldn't be beefier. It's a dex weapon, so... Ah. I don't think your strength levels would really help with it that much. Alright, you used a master key... Valley of Drakes? Yep, so uh, that's the way we're going. Cool. Uh, do I go along the the ridge or the bridge? You want to go on the bridge to the right. Alright, sounds good. So when you enter this big cave to the right of the bridge, you'll enter Blight Town. Infamous for killing frame rates back in the original version. Oh boy, and my game runs so well, I can't wait for this. Yep. So, did they fix it in the remaster, or is it still a little jank? I, yeah, it seems to be more optimized. Oh no, oh no, big orc boy. Oh! Oh my god, he poisons me with his club? Yep. Welcome to Poison Land. Luckily, they can be easily backstabbed. And they're super slow. Oh, that's good. All right. I'm just currently dealing with them myself. In my world. In my world. <laughs> na, 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 na. Where life is strong in his world. Life's oh. an open book. I just died. Oh, well. oh no. Oh my god, I cut his fucking ankles. Oh. Yo, 500. Let's go. Dung pie? I just picked up a pile of shit? Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, consume or I guess consume oh! isn't the best word. <gasps> oh no, I'm poisoned. Okay, how do I? No, no, get away, get away, get away. Get away. You currently don't have any way to antidote that. So how do I, like, does it go away with time? Yeah, over time it drains. Or it goes away. So you'll just have to heal it when it gets too bad. Yeah, so once you kill those three, you'll come up to a kind of walkway with a bunch of torches. And there should be a chest there. That oh. area you can summon me, so I'll Fuck! Make, oh, I'll no. make my way there and place my sign. Alright, trying my best here.
All right, come on, big boy. Yeah, smack that ass. Smack that ass. Yo, free. Let's go. Yo, not a fan of this poison shit. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love this zone. So this is really like where the game kind of recommends you go next. Mm -hmm. Although technically the way that we're going is really the exit of where you're supposed to go after you beat the boss of this level. Oh. But because we have the master key, we can enter it first. Which is pretty beneficial. Yeah, for sure. Let's you more or less skip most of the level. So if you made it to the Blight Town kind of title card intro. Not yet. I'm still killing these big chonkers. I'll leave my sign outside of there. I assume you're human. Yep. Cool. I do appreciate that even though I'm still poisoned, they can't like beef up the poison. actually pretty beneficial in that I believe in this game there's two levels of poison mm. kind of like similar to like Pokemon with like toxic and poison oh that makes sense Poison toxic is significantly more damaging yeah so uh, if you get poison or you get toxic I think it like prevents you from being toxic at the time mm. that makes sense so it almost, like, immunizes you to it. Uh, so, okay, I just got the Blight Town title card. There's a treasure chest here. Gonna open that up. I'll leave my sign by the chest. Key to New Londo Ruins. That'll come in handy later. Uh, oh, a ladder. Left my summon sign by the chest. Oh, by the chest. Okay. Back up I go. Okay. How's your computer handling the frame rate? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, how do I... How do I go online? How do I know if I'm online or not? For one, if your character, you know, doesn't look like a beef jerky man. Two, the uh, little circle on the left with the number will be white instead of grayed out. Okay, so I'm online. I don't see your sign, though. You said it was by the chest with the key? Mm-hmm. Did I? I'm just going to check my network settings. Rob Snell. Does it say start online or offline for you? Start online. Uh, oh, I had it restricted. Maybe unrestricted will help. Yeah, that probably makes sense. I'll place it down again. Uh, still not seeing it. Hmm. Here, let me... Global, Rob Smell, start online, unrestricted, ranking registration, on... Maybe I could drop mine down. I'm not 
not human, but I can quickly fix that. Oh, would that be why? Uh, a human can be summoned, but a hollow cannot summon people. Oh, gotcha. I mean, in the meantime, you could just progress through the level by yourself. Yeah, that's true. All right. Down the ladder I go. Oh my god, that's like a big squishy boy on the wall over there. I want to kill it. You can kill it. So, going down the second ladder. Uh, this like shit. Why didn't that fly thing, like, try to fight back at all? I don't know. Weird. I just, like, stood there and mashed R1, and it worked. So down to the right, there's low dark enemies. And those guys inflict toxic damage. Great. Which is, which is something you don't want to be affected by. Oh, well, I'm affected by it. Purple moss clump? What is that? Uh, that's what's used to heal. Or to... That's your antidote. Oh, should I use that then? Yeah, it's pretty good to put on your hotbar. Next to your Estus and all that. Okay, well, it didn't cure my toxic, and I'm about to die, so... Toxic needs a special version of it. Uh, I... well, when I was asking if it would cure my poison, I meant currently. <laughs> my bad. Okay. Oh. We can this... go a different way if you'd like. Uh, no, no, it's fine. It just... just... Because if we go a different way, we can fight a different boss in an area that's not poison. Wait, I kept my humanity? I'm not like a gross zombie boy? I mean, you are a gross zombie boy. I I don't look it. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I kind of see it now. Otherwise, you definitely look more kind of pinkish-white. back up the elevator. Nah, I'm good. Well, I'm already at the top of the elevator, so... Because I went back to the Fire Link Shrine. Alright. I meant to uh, go to the Undead Parish. Oh, no, no, no. We're good. Let's go to Blight Town. Get it over with. I know it's gonna be... Oh, there's Gold Guy here. Can I kill him? Uh, you can talk to him first. Oh, Sunlight Metal. Cool. Now I can kill him? Yep. So yeah, you want to kick him twice. And that should do it. Oh. Uh. Uh oh. Doesn't like it. There we go. Free 1k. Fuck you. Nice. So by either turning off the game and turning it back on, or just leaving the area and coming back, his items will be where he, or his items will be placed where he died, and you can pick them up. Oh, okay. And those That's are like, those are like good five humanity. Nice. Congrats, your bonfire is now saved. <laughs> So, why does his quest get rid of that bonfire? Uh, basically, the person that's underneath the bonfire is called a bonfire keeper. 
Mm. Part of his quest is that he kills the bonfire keeper to get her soul. What a bitch. And by progressing through the game and eventually killing him, you get the bonfire keeper's soul, which you can bring back to the area and then turn the bonfire back on. Ah. Good to know we don't have to worry about that, because there's two ways for him to, like, or there's two triggers that cause him to, like, progress the story and kill the bonfire keeper. Mm -hmm. And that's ringing the second bell after fighting the boss that we're gonna fight. Or, I believe the area that he went, where, like, that toxic guy was. Mm -hmm. There's an item called a bonfire, or there's another bonfire keeper soul. And by picking up that one and the one in the Undead Parish, that also causes him to start his quest. Gotcha. I just... I'm lost 26 humanity. Oh no! I also just remembered that actually having a bunch of humanity, like, in the top left, mm -hmm. actually increases your stats slightly. Oh! Something to keep in mind for future efforts, then. So I kind of have a little bit of a defense buff by having, like, 30 humanity. Nice. I believe it also kind of messes up PvP, because you'll have people with, like, 99 humanity. Oh, well. Yep, just gonna get up. Oh, oh. Nope, gonna back away from you and heal up. You fucking suck, you shitty fat guy. Get out of here. Welcome to the club. Get back stabbed, you fat sack. There we go. Get backstabbed. Get backstabbed. As far as I'm aware, they can't actually go down ladders, so if you want, you can just sprint past them and, like, climb down the ladder. Yeah, but I want them extra souls, you know? Yeah. I'm greedy. I don't care. Oh, you were ramping up. I saw you, buddy. Don't think you were fucking cute. Alright, boom, bam, get wrecked. There we go. <laughs> just watched one just fling itself off a ledge trying to get to me. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Enemies tend to do that in this zone. Well, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of walkways and stuff, yeah? It's very vertically oriented zone, so every now and then you might just see, like, plus 500 souls. Nice. From an enemy AI that just uh, decided to not want life. <laughs> I should probably put moss in my hotbar. I need to figure out how to set up my hotbar. I haven't even touched it yet. When you go into the change menu screen, you should see the bar on the top right where your Estus Flask is. When you're not fighting enemies. There we go. And heal. Feeling good. Didn't get poisoned this time. 
All right, so how do I, all right, hop bar. Um, the select button you can toggle over to change equipment should be the second one with the sword and shield oh oh okay I see I see I see and then um, do I need anything else uh, for uh, for my hot bar I mean, you can put whatever you want on there, fire bombs or lure gun skulls or nah, I don't need those. Those are stinky. You can put dung pies on there. Those are really stinky. <laughs> Literally stinky, yes. That is one big pile of shit. Yeah, it's essentially a throwable item that is meant more for PvP. that my crossbow is actually amazing for this zone for shooting those mosquitoes all right there we go i retrieved all my stuff all right so all right so with this zone do i want to just like rush ahead or what's the what's the big brain strat here yourself off a wall yeah, that's the that's the real challenge mm -hmm. ah these shitty dart dudes torches should be by ladders okay I'm going I'm going I don't know where I'm going but I'm going damn it Oh no, I got toxic. Again. I believe those dart blowers don't respawn when you kill them. So killing them once should do it. Am I gonna outlive this toxic or no? I mean, you can heal every now and then with your Estus. But... What, what I'm saying is though, do you think I have enough Estus to outlast the toxic? think so as long as you don't get hit by a bunch of other attacks yeah so for healing toxic you need blooming purple moss clump opposed to just standard purple moss clump there's a vendor later on that just sells them I assume you're in that little tunnel area. Yeah. Yeah, so this is where the uh, soul, or the bonfire keeper soul is. Hmm. I don't know, maybe you won't survive. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling a hondo on this, but... Might be a good idea to just try to get as many items as you can before you die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm not outliving this. <laughs> All right, well, <sighs> GG video game. GG video game. <laughs> this area of the game, it's very handy to have healing spells. It's kind of free heals. 
that might be useful to just stay hollow instead of becoming human every time until you get to the next bonfire. Oh, so I'm not wasting humanity. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Ooh, hey, items. Nice. Five humanity. Ring of favor and protection. So that ring is special in that it gives you health, equipment, load, and stamina, I think. But if you take it off, it breaks forever. Uh, so would I re should I replace Havel's ring with it since it boosts my my load, or? Yeah, I'd say if you're rolling a or if you're doing a mid roll, and you're fine with the mid roll, then you might as well go with favor and protection instead of Havel's ring. All right. Although a lot of people go with both Havel's and favor and protection. Because that makes sense. The combination is nicknamed Havelfat. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Yeah, so that area, that or that little tunnel, just has the item and isn't for progression. So if you want to skip it for now. Uh, yeah. If we don't have to do Blight Town, that'd be great. Uh, I'd like to have. I'd like to have some recovery items for anything that place has. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go back to Blight Town? Uh, I want to go back and get my shit, but afterwards I, I think I'm going to Blight Town. TBH. Oh, if you have the Homework Bone item, then you can, once you get your stuff, you can just use that to return to the bonfire. Yep, that's what my strat is going to be in a second here. Although it does have some startup time, so make sure you're in a relatively safe position. So no Blade Town. No Blade Town, please. <laughs> what I thought. I tried to warn you. But, you didn't <laughs> but, but you're the one who recommended we go anyway. You said, oh yeah, this is the area to go next. And I'm like, okay. I asked you if you wanted to go to a different area. And you're like, uh, nah, we'll, we'll go this way. Yeah, but, but I figured they would give me items for healing poison. But they didn't. Alas, they did not. Uh, but with the... Uh, the fat guys, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them for now. Yeah, just sprint past them. Yeah, I'll wait for you to get back to Fireland. What an amazing start to the stream. <laughs> eh, it's fine. It's an I'm a newbie. I'm allowed to make mistakes. If people want to like dunk on that. That's fine. I don't care. Not every stream can be filled with progress. All right, there we go. And down the ladder. Going this way. Not dealing with any of these shitty dudes. Gargoyle helmet. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to rock out where I need to go to get my stuff back. There's no GPS on this shit? <laughs> no mini map. My guy sounds like he enjoys getting hit a little too much. It's kind of uncomfortable. Oh.
Ah, here we go. I think I found it. Yep. Okay. So, just got a, just got a not ball. There we go. This guy sucks. Kick him off the edge because he sucks. Oh, crimson? Crimson robe, gloves, waistcloth, and mask of the sealer, and a banishment catalyst? I don't know what that is. That's a sorcerer's item. Sorcery. Stuff. Remedy. Found a sor What's that? Magic. Ooh. It's kind of like the thing I use to cast healing stuff for magic. Gotcha. Does it cure toxic? Mm, remedy might, actually. Although I don't think you can use it because you don't have the stats. What do you mean? I'm a beefy boy. You are a beefy boy, but are you a smart boy? What are you trying to say? I'm just saying. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? <laughs> it goes top heavy. Doesn't mean there's a whole lot in there. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That hint stat probably isn't very high. Return to the last bonfire rest of that. Yes, please. All right. I saw a couple items to the side, so I figured I might as well grab those while I'm over there. Yeah, they were safe. <clears throat> All right, well, Blight Town at least got me a bunch of fucking XP, so I might as well spend that now. But, uh, yeah, let's go somewhere a little less ass-beating. So when you go into your menu and you browse and use items, mm -hmm. if you go over to the key section, do you have the item, the basement key? Mm, I don't think I do, but I could check. Uh, it's loading still, so give it a minute. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. The game did not like that. Alright. I just saw it on screen, just like, slowly chugging into <laughs> the game. Yeah. Alright. Got my humanity back. Oh, attune magic? Oh, it's because I'm not a smarty boy. Not a smarty boy. Okay, I can get one level up. Uh, here, let's uh, let's get my vitality up by one. There we go. All right. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, this blue ring, it says boost in my defense when HP is low. I'm probably already going to die when my HP is low, so I might as well have the hovel and the the favor. Yep. So. Yeah. The blue tear stone ring is not nearly as good as the red to red tear stone ring. Oh, yo! I got the quick roll now. Let's go. Sweet. All right. Hi. So if you go into your menu, and you browse and use items. Uh. Key kind of ah, section. there we go. Uh, Big Pilgrim Mystery, Key to Londo, Undead Asylum, Dungeon Cell, and Master. So to progress, you need the basement key, which I honestly forget where I picked it up, so I'll look into that. Basement key. Dark Souls. I think the merchant sells it. Uh, where is he at? Oh, I know where he's at. Okay, hang on. Cool. Uh, oh, I just remembered. You remember the pig in the undead pair? Yeah. Around that area. Oh, that's where it is? Yeah, so if we go back up there through the elevator. Oh. Oh! My game chugging! All right, this fucking fire dude needs to stop. Okay, all right. All right, uh, pig guy, pig guy. Going back to piggy. Yeah, 
So once you go up the elevator, pretty much immediately take a right. Actually, I'll place my soapstone outside of there. See if you show up there or if uh, it shows up. So I want to go by where the big guy with the giant shield was and yep. then to the right. Up the stairs there. Elevator on the right side. Uh, there's no elevator on the right. Uh, keep hugging the right wall. There it is. Oh, I thought you meant on the right, like over, like opposite of the left one. My bad. Oh, either one brings it up. Basically, one goes up and one goes down. Oh, my game is not like in this area. Oh, do we have a crash? Oh, my game, my computer is chugging through it. There we go. That big boy's gone, right? Okay, big boy gone. All right, game. You need to just take your time. It's okay. Here, give me one second. What I'm going to do here real quick. I'm going to free up some... Uh, going here was a very bad idea. <clears throat> uh technical difficulties are fun can't hear stealthy anymore which is great Coming up here was a very bad idea.
O. Hello? Oh. All right. We got movement. Hello? Hey. So, uh, I guess my whole computer is just like locked up right now. It's like things are barely running right now and I'm not sure what's up. And I, it says the stream is running, but also the streaming program is like totally froze. So like, it shows like my face cam and it shows like that it's recording, but it doesn't show the timer moving at all. So I don't know if it's actually recording or not, yeah, which you is can see like little particles going across the screen. So the game still seems to be running. Yeah. Okay. So wait, you could still see the stream itself then. Yep. Okay. So the stream is running at least that's, you know, a plus. For as little of a plus as it is. I just... Let me see if it pops up. Sure. Yep. I, well, okay, so I see it on the preview of the stream. Like, what you can see. But I don't see it on, like, my chat window that I have pulled up. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I got it. Took a second. Oh, okay, wait. I think we're good. I think we're good. The timer popped back on again. It just jumped like seven minutes. So that's fun. What an amazing stream. <laughs> I can only do my best for so long. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, I think we can attempt video games again. Okay. All right, so I'm back in it. This place fucking sucks. I wonder, when you walk around, do you see, like, those little like orange scratch marks that looks like the Mad Cats logos every now and then. Uh, I oh, what the fuck? How did I fucking get backstabbed? Yep, it can happen. All right, well, you know, to be fair, this place isn't too far from where I was, so I, I can make it back just fine, but man, that fucking sucks. Notice that the online password setting kind of like notification mm. that should be next to the yellow arrow isn't on your screen so maybe you're not playing in online mode it says i'm online um here i'll go i'll go get my ship back and then i'll like restart the game and see how that goes Hopefully the game doesn't just have a hernia when I fucking try to do it again. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the key is basically where those enemies are. If you just continue going forward, mm -hmm. you'll come up to the gate that was blocked off where the pig was. All right, there we go. Got my stuff back. Now to head back. Oh boy, fun, fun, fun. Cause like, as you were in Blight Town. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Now I'm seeing messages again. Am I back online? Oh, you're in a uh, Firelink. Those are, like, messages for, like, press this button to turn on the thing. Ah, gotcha. All right. Unless it's, like, try holding with both hands or... All right, real quickly, I'm going to reverse my hollowing. Then leave. Okay, hang on. Quit game. Yep. All right. So do I need to reboot the whole game, or do I just from the title screen? I'm good. From the title screen should be fine. Logging into the server. Okay. Okay. It gave me a good message this time. It, oh, it says I'm online now. Great. So yeah, I I must have been offline for some reason. I don't know why. All right, but yeah, if you uh, if you want to put your summon sign down somewhere, I'll head to it. Yep. Now the now the indication that you're using the online password system showed up. It's that little kind of circle coin thing next to the upwards yellow arrow. Gotcha. I like how basic that arrow looks. Yep. There's a funny kind of thing in Demon Souls <laughs> Remaster or Remake where. A lot of those like those let you know if like your gear is giving you some kind of like buff and one of them was for a covenant that's like based on a cat and it was literally just like a picture of a cat like a real like, a like png of a cat like that smash bros stage cat <laughs> oh yeah 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 so my sign should be by the elevator Seeing it. Hmm. Alright, I'll try putting it in the center of the room. You're using Rob Smells as the password. Or Rob Smell. Yeah. Get backstab, you shitty asshole. Alright. It's just not going that way. But... Yeah, I just. I don't know. I was walking around. Just to kill him. Yeah. No, I was walking around and then he hit me, and you know, that, and I made sure he regretted that choice. Yep. Oh, I hear a bell. Yeah, so that's uh, another player ringing the bell after beating the boss. So basically, there should be a bunch of caped enemies to your right. back in the church yeah although while we're here we can check out a character that mm. I don't think you've seen and who is that it's a certain onion bro <gasps> the Michelin man mm -hmm. if you go to where the blacksmith was there should be a kind of pathway towards where he is oh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute here so i am online mm -hmm. yep you're online so where the bonfire is there should be a door Oh, 
Why can't I see your summon sign then? going across that middle bridge you should notice somebody on the left you said the bridge mm -hmm. oh there he is onion man still closed why why he's sleepy why why he's sad mm. 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 Wake up, Onion. So next to Solaire, he's one of the fan favorites. Oh wait, all okay. Bloodstains started showing up and everything. Was the game just like loading all these? Yeah, bloodstains show up where people die. So I guess a bunch of people died in this area recently. How did they die? There's no enemies there. Uh, once the gate opens up later in the game, it fights some enemies. Oh, Garge. Alright. Uh, heading back to the church then to see if I can maybe find your sign somewhere. Going back there myself. Oh? Nothing. Not it. Yeah, so once you go back to the church, and like, you know, fight the crossbow guy, all those enemies in there. Uh, oh, the big cape guys? Yeah, you'll fight the cape guys. The bold earth knights, as they're called. Yeah, there should be three of them there. That was a bad decision. I guess I should probably put my summon sign down just in case. Yeah, fucking backstab me again, fuckers. So it'll just be like literally around the elevator or is it somewhere in the room or uh, outside like where the bold earth knights were hanging out there should be a door that you can go out no not that way back into the church oh to the left okay that door you can just keep on going forward down the stairs yep got the basement key nice so now you remember where we first found Solaire uh no basically if we just sprint forward sprint forward mm-hmm and just past all these enemies. And then 
take a left into the area, you know, where all those rats were. Okay. Going left. Excuse me, sir. Trying to trying to just kill you real quick. Much harder to guide you when I'm like 15 seconds behind. If you want, I can set it up on Discord so you can watch real time too. Second, then. Discord, why are you so finicky? Let's uh, here. Let's do seven twenty thirty for your for your viewing pleasure, quote unquote. As the game is meant to be played. <laughs> right. I don't know why, but Discord has like darkened for me. I think it glitched out, but that's no big deal. what your laptop needs another tab <laughs> well I'm running this on my desktop right now so my desktop is just like five years old mm. ah there you go alright so that area where you got the key Mm -hmm. There should also be a lever that you can pull to open up the gate. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you want me to open the gate? Yep. that way Oh, item. Hello. Yep. Ooh. Is that better than my current one? It's like a spear that does a bit more damage. But can I hold small. Can I hold it with one hand or yeah, either or? Don't know if you have the stats for it, but you can always try. Eh. I'm good with my current one. Yeah, so basically, you can either kill all the enemies here or just sprint past them. Let's sprint for now. Yeah, so you just want to keep on going forward. Eventually, you'll want to drop down the pit. But well, there should be a entrance on the left. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I got Damn shot in the foot. Okay, okay. Oh no, there's... I'm gonna die. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Nope. Nope. And then just yup. And then get yupped. Yupped real hard. Yup. Nope. Then you fucking suck, you shitty ass dude. Get out of here. Boop. Bop. Alright. So on your right, there should be a little doorway. Ah, oh, there we are. Yeah, so going down that ladder, you'll fight the rats that were underneath the bridge. Or the Hellkite Drake. Ah! Boy, 
comme ça. Stop fucking die, you shitty fucking rat. Not nearly as cute as the ones I saw while working. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, so now I'm here. Oh, there's a dragon up there. I don't wanna I don't wanna get him too angry at me. Oh, there's like a little guy over here who's about to lose his entire fucking day. Or he's just gonna stab me through the wall because he fucking sucks. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> So now I'm under the bridge. Then you want to basically go back to that area where the shortcut is for the bonfire. Uh, Probably best to save at the bonfire quickly. Where is the bonfire? Down there, down the ladder. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so if you... Yeah, there you go. Sliding down the ladder. Yeah, now I'm doing it all the time. So now that I'm here, you can go back up the ladder. Basically, instead of running towards where the dragon is, you want to run away from it. Back down the bridge to where Solaire was. Should oh. have health to survive. Well, I certainly hope so. Yeah. So there should be an entrance to the left, or to your right now. Ta-da! Oh. oh. Secret boys. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much where progression starts. So I'll leave the Discord kind of thing and go back to playing. That's fine. Oh, do you, do you, should I shut off the Discord call then? Or at least that the stream part of it? If it starts interfering or like causing your game to run slow. Yeah, we're good for now. If it, if it does start lagging and shit, I'll probably turn it off, yeah. All right. But uh so we're uh stairs or stairs. I'll make my way So that feeds to the bonfire that you just rested at. You you may remember this area from earlier yes. in the game. I do. Wish the door didn't open towards me. That's really inconvenient. Try humanity. Be wary of anywhere. Be wary of tough enemy. Yeah, so this zone has a lot of enemies that sneak up on you and try to backstab you. Oh, fun. Yeah, just about there. Doggos. Can I not backstab the doggos? Nope. Yeah, I'll place my sign kind of by the bottom of the stairs. Oh, hey! I wonder why it wasn't working before. Summoning failed. Well, I replaced it. My bad. Should work now. Uh, just been like 
server issues. Oh, there it is. It's back up there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ta -da. Summoning. Back in the game. We're actually playing co-op halfway into the stream. Awesome. And now the stream officially starts. <laughs> right. That was all pre-show. Start the VOD now. <laughs> all right. Bob Hosker. That's me. So some of these doors have enemies behind them. That once you progress far enough, will open up like that. So I believe these enemies have like a parry stance, where they kind of like hold their shield and sword up. Mm -hmm. Dagger. And if you attack them while they're doing that, they'll just parry you. Just be advised. <laughs> oh yeah, I learned a new magic trick while well, in between this session and the last session. Oh, yo! Let's go! Let's go! That's poggers. That how, is that how you say it? <laughs> that is, in fact, how the kids say it. <clears throat> oh no, blood loss. Oh no, oh no, 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 Okay, that was that was very scary, and I didn't like that at all. Yep. So that fog door over there is the boss. Oh, really? We're already at the boss. So fun thing, uh, this boss is the only boss in which the enemy and its ads are already like loaded into the world, just like on the other side of the boss gate. Huh. Okay. So technically, if you lob a firebomb over there, you can hit the boss. Oh, nice. Damage him and its adds before the fight. I don't have enough firebombs to, you know, test that out, but it's just a neat little thing people can do. Um, uh, sorry, just changing up my stuff real quick. Fashion souls. Ah, yes. Come, brother. <laughs> Join me. So, on the other side of this gate is two dogs and the boss. The biggest, the hardest part of this boss is killing the dogs before the boss hits you. Ah! Although, with two players, it should be fine. It's not fine. I'm not fine. Gotta heal. Get out of there. Alright. Coming in. Coming in. Nice. Okay, it didn't work. Ooh, that did some damage. Yeah, if you can just pull them off, I'll throw my lightning. Oh my god, that did such a chunk in damage. Yep. Boom. Fucking hell. Let's go. So that's the Kappa Demon. Or the Kappa Demon, as people like to call him. Kappa Demon, he he he. Wait, am I not wearing shoes? 
Oh yeah, I just have the robe. <laughs> Boy, if you want, you can actually be summoned into my world, and then you can help me fight the boss. Uh, yeah, if you want to. Uh, yeah, how do I wait? If you just wait outside the boss fight, I'll make my way there. Okay. Make my way downtown. Something, something. Che the lyrics. Cheese and a boss winning at Dark Souls. Oh no. I'm fine. Did like one eighth of my health. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. As I'm burning. <laughs> as long as you're that not getting hit by a motorcycle. This game. <laughs> what what is thematically appropriate? Saying everything is fine while you're burning. <laughs> That's literally a plot element. As long as uh, the guy riding a giant turbo bike doesn't ram into you. Oh, uh, yeah, so if you... Oh, I should be human. I'm a dum-dum. I assume you placed your sign down. Uh, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, for that, you kind of... You put it on your hotbar, the white soapstone that you got from Solaire. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. And then... Boom. Alright, there we go. It is nice that in, like, the later games, you can become human or whatever that game's equivalent of human is, just, like, on the spot, like, consuming the item, instead of having to do it at the bonfire. I guess I can see the appeal of, like, forcing you to have to go through the entire level after going to the bonfire to summon someone, instead of being safe the entire time and then just doing it before the boss fight. How do I know when you're about to summon me? Uh, when I get there. Oh, I, th uh, I thought you were already here. My bad. No, I'm at the bonfire, making my way back town, moving fast. Just about threw myself off a ledge. Ah, that's exactly what you want to do. Yep. Throw strats. Just got backstabbed. Oh no. This is going well. Oh, I didn't even realize. I can do two handed? Does it does that mean I deal more damage? Yep. So for big bosses like him who can just kind of shrug off my shield, it'd probably be a better idea just to have this for the damage. Keep getting backstabbed. Oh no, are you alive? Somehow. Running. Got like a trail of at least ten enemies chasing me. I'll just whittle them down. <clears throat> I 
So how was your day? <laughs> See any good movies lately? Uh, no, nah, I just helped out my family with some stuff, chilling, cool. playing Dark Souls, gonna hang out with uh, my uh, friend Effer. This gonna <laughs> the real stealthy potato. <laughs> yeah, right. Just about. Here, someone sign. I'm waving my axe. Let me join you, brother. outside of the boss arena. Alright, that's helpful. I'll come and summon you. Don't do nice. drugs, kids. Oh, there's still a doggo. <laughs> okay, doggo is dead. Goodbye, Fido. <laughs> Goodbye, Sparky. Summoning Phantom. I am being summoned. Yeah, let's go. So to join the Sunlight Covenant, I'd like to get the Praise the Sun emote. You have to either have a certain amount of faith or have been summoned to a certain amount of worlds. Ah. Uh. So I think doing it two or three times should allow you to join the Covenant. Nice. I'll just, like, have it. Yep. You'll be able to join it whenever. And you get lightning. Ooh. Cool. We going? Yeah. I'll just quickly get it. All right. Got five Estus and a bag full of dreams. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, fucking smoked. No chance. Goodbye. Alright, so I believe if we turn to the left, we'll see a staircase. Oh <laughs> I start walking. Look at the stream. <laughs> He just rolled down the entire stairs. Poor doggo. <laughs> He's just like, wah, wah. Yeah, so if you leave the room on your immediate left, like where uh, we came from. Oh, okay. Yeah. There should be a path down there. And you'll notice an enemy and a pretty obvious ambush to your left. Here you go. So if you go up the stairs to your left, there will be a shortcut that lets you go to Firelink Shrine. Ooh. And actually gives you access to the vendor who sells the moss. Oh, so that's how you handle Blight Town. 
So we should have done this first the whole time. Should have. Once you go up to the or to the top of the stairs and through that little doorway on your immediate right, there's a character kind of behind the doors. Bitch. Bitch. All right, up the stairs. All right. All right. So first, not the first set of stairs. The second one. Oh, the second one's broken. Never mind. So to your immediate right after exiting. No, she's a friend. Your Mose. Mosey on it. Purchase. Uh. Uh, blooming. For toxic. So I'm gonna need like 10 of those. Yeah, that should be you for most of the game. Sick. Alright. Alright, so now if you turn around, go through the aqueduct, you'll eventually come to a door that you can open. Setting up your hot bar. Yeah. Okay. Walking, walking. Drop my phone. <laughs> You'll notice that'll lead you to the undead bird. Oh, hey, guys. So that's the aqueduct that you went into, where that rat is. Oh, okay, Garch. So that's one way to get to the area we're going to, after, you know, in the event that we die. Which we haven't yet, thankfully. Right, in, in case it ever did happen, which it hasn't. Yeah. No. Yeah, so now that the... I mean, I guess you can go back to Firelink and save there. Wait, okay, so I'm here. And. Oh, you wanna go back to where the aqueduct was? Oh, okay, gotcha. And take a right. You'll find that firebomb squad. There we go. And the leapfrogs. That's what I thought. Oh, you think you're cute? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to Chainmail Man. He should have some more dialogue to say. Hang on. These guys think they're funny, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna Take just, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna. Some pretty good kicks. Yeah, I'm getting better at it. About sending a message. <laughs> the hall, hall. <laughs> just flung him off. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure he could join his friends. <laughs> so, Chainmail Man should have some more stuff to say. Just wanted to uh, reset everything real quick. Won't stop. Ain't gonna stop. Bad boys for life. Alright, so back up at the aqueduct. And back to the aqueduct, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just love how this early game is all connected. 
Does the later game have its like own thing going on? And it's more like the areas that we are going to kind of spread out and like continue. But like this early game where everything is directly connected to Firelink, I just love so much. Hell yeah. It's kind of like in like Pokemon where until you get Fly, you have to use like shortcuts. Yeah. Because eventually the ex or the ability to fast travel. But until then, there's enough shortcuts that doesn't <laughs> do much of a hassle. <laughs> Goodbye. Easy. Easy. GG. I feel like not all of them died there. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing. Yep. Knew it. All the viewer bitches. Okay. Back to the aqueduct I go. Dead bird. Going down the staircase. Also on your right or left. Yeah, you were going the right way. Left. Back. Sorry. Should be a door. Key to depths. Could be a bonfire. At least I thought there was a bonfire. Hmm, must be late. Alright, you y'all need to fucking chill. I'll place my summon sign by the bottom of the staircase. Okay. Man, I'm getting a lot of these, like, large souls and stuff like that. Should I, like, like, late game, am I good to use those all at once and, like, get real beefy at the final? Yeah. It's pretty good for, like, if you're a couple souls away from, like, a level up and you need something to tip you over the edge. Hell yeah. Uh... Now we got the steam train rolling. Yes. Join me. Yes. Chugga, 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 chugga. All right. Nothing but hype. Let's go. All right, you. You fucking fire bitch. Yeah, these fire guys are not to be messed with. They're quite tough. Eventually, an enemy kind of drops from the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to backstab him. <laughs> well, it worked out. Yeah, if you look to your right, kind of up there. See that guy? Oh, I see him. He's kind of being a little shitty boy right there. I see him. Yeah, so I think there's like two of them in the game, and there's a low chance that they might drop their sack helmet. Ooh, what's a sack helmet? It's like a bag. For like an executioner, it's just drop, like a drop empty down. sack. Come on! Oh, I can, I can hit him with my lightning. Your lightning is ineffective here. <laughs> Fucking Jason looking ass. So in this room, there's a bunch of barrels and a person over there. So try not to attack the barrels. 
Wait, what? There's a person in the back over there. So you want to roll into his barrel instead of hitting him. There he is. I didn't hit that. I didn't hit that. It's okay. <laughs> you get one. Why are you twitching so furiously? <laughs> so that looks dumb when I said, oh, I just remembered. What? When I said established dominance. Or, <laughs> oops, wrong one. There it is. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so if you, I think if you talk to her, if you get all of his dialogue, he'll go back to Firelink. It's basically the pyromancer teacher. Okay, he just says, I'm fine thanks to you and nothing else. Cool. All right. So pyromancy is one of the ways that you can do magic in the game. Uh huh, uh, and that one's pretty obvious. It's for fire, but uh, yeah. it's so interesting in that it doesn't scale based on your stats, mm -hmm. but it scales on how high of a level your pyromancy like hand is. So by using it more, it becomes better. Ah, fucking shitty blob! Get out of here! What do you know? How do I get out? What the fuck? Leave those enemies, you can mash the L and R buttons to get out of it faster. At least I'm pretty sure. That sucked. Oh. Ah! You fucking shitty. Ugly ass, jerky looking fucker. All right. Let's Fuck. Be on your guard. Okay, hang on, hang on. Before we continue, mm -hmm. I need to fix one thing. Go ahead. All right, we're good. <laughs> so if you look on the ceiling. Oh, just a bunch of shitty boys everywhere. Luckily, lightning does a lot of damage. I believe these enemies drop, like, upgrade material for your weapons. Ooh, green titan shard. Yeah, that's fair. With all your weapons, you can upgrade them either just like the standard upgrade, or you can upgrade them into like special types of weapons, so like a fire weapon or a, a magic weapon. And green titanite is for that. Gotcha. <clears throat> I can't. Oh, I might have to leave the game for that. All right. Goodbye, brother. Bye. Goodbye, so Kirby. I'll make my way to that part of the game. Making my way downtown. Um, never gonna get old. <laughs> never gonna get old. Sing in a song over and over. Actually, one sec. Um, all right, browse and use for items. 
So, let's see. How many? I have Soul of Lost Undead, a Large Soul, a Soul of Nameless Soldier, Large Soul of Nameless Soldier, and then the Soul of a Proud Knight. Is that basically like small, medium, and large for small, medium, and large give outs? Yeah. And there's more. There's like Soul of a Hero, Soul of a... Or Great Soul of a Hero. And sadly, they don't tell you immediately how good they are. Gotcha. Well, I guess I can use one of them just for shits and giggles. I'll use one. Oh. 200 souls. Okay, now I know. Yeah, apparently just killing the slimes that are outside that door. Probably can't take a second. You said uh, having more humanity makes it so I uh, I have like more defense. Is that right? Slightly. And it also increases your item drop rate. Ooh. All right, so I place my summon sign by the bonfire. What would you, is uh is three humanity enough, or do you think I should have more? Three should be fine. Okay. And I welcome you back, brother. Oh yeah, I should mention that in this level, there's a NPC invader that shows up. Oh, nice. So that'll that'll be fun. Yeah, they have a bunch of health, and I don't think they do too much damage. But yeah, they're pretty much just damage sponges. Oh, big boy. Yep. Is he worth a lot? I think he's worth some souls. So these are... Okay, these are just rats. So we're eventually going to come across an enemy type in this game that can petrify you. Oh, great. By spitting out, like, a ton of smoke. Yo, a great, a great axe? Hang on. It's a comically large and thick axe. Insufficient oh, strength to wield with one hand. Oh, I gotta get buff, boys. Uh, if you two hand it, because it. Oh yeah, I'm liking big boy status. Let's go. So eventually, we'll come across enemies that can petrify you, and if you get petrified, then your health is basically permanently half until you unpetrify yourself. Which is something you want to avoid. Yeah, that makes sense. You'll notice them by how they walk around very quickly and have gigantic eyes. They'll kind of spray out like a big smoke. And at all costs, you want to get out of that smoke. Man, these rats drop a lot of humanity. Yep. Alright, sewer chamber key? Nice. Alright. Uh, this way. So do watch your footsteps, because there might be an area that drops you. Uh, fog door? Oh, is it a boss? Not a boss. Not a boss. Not a boss, but still should go? Yep. Okay. Okay, so there should be a channeler here. Yep, I see it. They, they, they buff enemies. So be careful, because those rats will do a lot of damage. I smoked okay, them so all with uh, my big boy. 
So it's good that we killed him, because if he stayed alive, he would actually buff the boss during the fight. Oh no. Which, if you uh, look over here, kind of like in the ramparts, that's the boss arena. Oh, this like whole area here? Yep. Damn. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big boss. Wait, what's over here? Oh my god, rats! Not able to hit Duckling. Is it being hiding over here? Yeah. Ooh, large Titanite shard. Yep. Yeah, you can give those to Andre the blacksmith to upgrade your weapons. Next time we get back to a bonfire, I'm gonna use all those fucking souls and get me some strength. Mm -hmm. Big big boys. Yes. Get back here. So uh, don't move forward. That's yeah, I, yeah, I see yeah. that. Let's try walking around it. Just to be safe. I know you're a big smart boy. Okay. What's this? Okay, so this area is where the giant rat is. Ready to fight it? Mm hmm. All right. Oh, so item. Fast. Oh no, I'm getting bullied. Oh, he's almost dead. Nice. Yeah, big boy status. Let's go. Chug a lug. All right, there we go. Got that sunny D. The big ass sword boys, axe boys, whatever, fuck it. I'm powerful. I'm a fucking god at this game. So there is a way that we can basically skip the rest of the level. Oh. And I believe that's by essentially hugging the left wall and just holding left while sliding down it. I'll test it out if you want. It's just up to, to make sure it's up it to doesn't you. accidentally kill you. Yep, totally works. Just hug the left wall as hard as you can. Nice. Sick! So if you go to the right, there should be a door that you can open up. That leads directly to the bonfire. Uh... Right yeah. Oh, okay. Bonfire? Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, load up on strength. Nice. Kind of curious why all these broken boxes are here. Hide that. Ah, uh, there we are. Nice. So I'll leave the world. Oh, yo, a headbang. Yep. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. Now, let's see. Wait, is there a way for me to know uh, what strength I need to wield it with two hands? Or uh, Strength to wield with two hands is half the strength requirement. But you still need to fill, or fulfill the dexterity requirement. What's I I don't know what I either one is. Uh, when you go into browse and use items and go over weapon, if you press the X button, it'll bring up the stats. Okay, so Should be uh, strength strength require oh okay required strength thirty two so I need thirty two to wield it with one hand. Uh, it's a strong one. I, I feel like I'm sitting at like a, yeah, like a 23 right now. So I don't, I, I don't have enough to one hand it, but God damn, is that hype. All right. I'm just going to go all in on strength for now. Cause I, I want this big boy 
fucking axe all day. So, um, place some summon signs for when you're ready. Yep, I'm ready. It's working now. Sit down. Flatten motherfuckers. Let's go. These guys are damage sponges. Although I'm pretty sure magic does a lot more damage. Yeah. So that area, that way, is kind of where you're supposed to like exit and come to here if you do the level normally. Uh huh. So if we go that way, we can you know, experience more of the level. Or if you want to go forward and to the right, so you can just go straight to the boss fight. Um, I mean, I think we could take the boss right now, yeah? Although I think if we just, like, peek our head in, we'll actually fight the invader, which will progress that invader's, like, storyline or quest line. Oh, I'm good with that, then. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, rat. All right, rat. Just fucking chill out, dude. We're hanging out. We're having fun. Yeah, one hit. One hit. Let's go. Do I die instantly if that pops up? Yeah. Oh. oh, Kirk. He up. He's back here. Oh, no. Oh. Set up lightning. Ooh, that did some damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kirk's dead. All right. All right. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. There we go. There we go. There we go. Eye of death. Humanity acquired. Nice. Barbed so, straight sword. That's his weapon. Is it, is it any good? Yeah, it deals bleed damage. Not as good as your great axe. Oh, then why am I even fucking looking at it? <laughs> it's cool. It ain't big boy status. Should be an enemy up there. Watch out. <laughs> Just go. Oh, nice guy. I'll just pretend that my axe is big and cool like yours. Don't worry. We're both big boys. <laughs> totally missed. Totally missed. There we go. First try. <laughs> Never died in this game. Not once. Damn, I'm dealing like triple digits now. Feeling good. Oh. So through here to the right, do you see a person? Yes. So that guy, when you defeat bosses, you can go to him and he will sell you boss weapons. Ooh. I don't care. Okay. Old pine resin, a uh, box allowing inventory management at bonfire. Is that a good thing? Would I want that? Um, Is that the bottomless box? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty handy to have. Uh, crystal great sword, crystal straight sword, or crystal shield. Do you think I should need any of those, or? You can get those later from like drops. Oh, okay. I don't need arrows because I don't shoot nothing. 
Uh, I'm assuming this is all his stuff because it's just his helmet and then a couple other stuff. But I can't buy him. I'll just take the... I'll take your biggest bottomless box you got. Alright, cool. Yeah, so now, I believe once you defeat the boss, you'll show up at Firelink. Okay, cool. Be wary of fatty. <laughs> I saw that too. There should be another summon sign around here. For a friend of ours. Is it, is it who I think it is? It may be who you think it is. Please be who I think it is. Praise the sun. <gasps> uh, how do I, I can't praise the sun though. Can I? Nope. How do I? I beckon. Come on, son. Is there supposed to be a summon sign around here? I don't see one. It just <laughs> says praise the sun. Odd. So I assume you have to praise the sun to get amiibo guy. No, there should just be a summon sign. Maybe here? I don't know. I don't see it. I can't see it, so. Hmm. Oh, wait. Here it is. Knight Solaire! It's him! Hey. Amiiboy! Yeah! So if I recall co correctly, if you hadn't killed Lawtrek, the uh, orange guy, mm -hmm. you could actually summon him for this fight as well. Oh, so it'd be four of us? I believe there is an item that actually lets you summon four, but normally you can only have two. Nice. Alright, y'all ready? Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Let's top off a heel. Okay. So I should warn you, this is going to be a, a big boy. Big boys? <laughs> We're going to out big boy him. Do you remember how that guy, uh, C Mastered, asked what my favorite boss in the game was? Is this it? This may be it. Oh, really? Nice. What makes it so much fun for you? I just like the design, how it's like just different from all the other bosses just like yo yo what the fuck it's like a crocodile dragon thing a gaping dragon this thing looks tight as fuck oh it's also it's half crocodile half vagina and half dragon it's <laughs> when it does that like slam there's a chance that it might just like charge forward, so steer clear of it. Oh, yeah, and if you chop off its tail, you get a weapon. Ooh. Speaking of tail. Ah, uh, alright, gotta heal. Gotta heal. How come I can't lock on to this dude? Yeah, lock on is pretty finicky with him. Chill, bro. Yo, me and Solaire throwing our lightning. Wonder how much damage my crossbow does. There we go. Nice. Yo, a great axe? Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my crossbow does, like, next to nothing. Yeah, I'll switch back to axe. This song is, like, you can really hear, uh, 
Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sakuraba. You can really hear his style come through in this song. Uh, he's the composer for uh, the Tales series. I believe he also did, like, Mario Golf. Yep, he does a lot of the Mario... He, he does all, basically all the Mario Sport games. Um, he did Golden Sun, the Tales series, and Dark Souls. <laughs> Get away from the boss. He's about to do an AoE. Oh, oh no. Yeah, so that's basically degrades your weapon's durability. Oh, that's not hype at all. Oh, Solaire's not doing too good. If you have a spare Estus, maybe. Oh, never mind. Solaire's dead. Oh, well. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> we'll just have to manage on our own. Yeah, we do so little damage. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was like a Bloodborne attack. Fuck you, dude. Stomping and thrashing. <laughs> Trying to hit you with his non-existent tail. Oh, run away. Wait, item. Ah, uh, no, I wanted the item. No! It's an uh, armor set. Oh, cool. That's not the best place to be. <laughs> Why? They might charge you. Oh. Like that. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, I dodged it, because I'm a god. Never, never died at this game. Not once. Not once, not ever. And, I, and no one can prove otherwise, that's the best part. I believe the boss also has a grab attack it can do. Oh, no. Where it, like, grabs you and puts it in its gigantic mouth. Man, that's the third time it's doing that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Run! No! Okay, I didn't get hit. I'm good. Good. I've never died. I'm not going to die. Because I'm top tier. Fuck you. And fuck your shitty throw up. Oh no! I died. Actually, no, I didn't. Because I've never done it. Never done it. Never done it. Never going to do it. You know how it'll be. <laughs> oh, by the bonfire. Yeah, it's probably a good call. Yeah, because I haven't progressed that far in the level. Okay, so... Should I restore my humanity before going back there? Yep. So you can summon me. And Solar. Might also be useful to kindle this bonfire. Sure, uh, I can do that. Uh, how's progress? Hey. Yo, hey Bash, welcome. Uh, going good. Uh, we almost got that boss, and then uh, I don't know what happened. The game glitched out or something, and just put me back in the bonfire. Not sure how that restart. happened. Have to restart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely, that's what happened. We were, yeah, we were just in the middle of a boss fight, and then all of a sudden it just went to black and faded back in. It was crazy. All right. Getting my humanity back. Uh, Good to finally see somebody in the chat. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. It's been, uh, it's been a quiet stream, but me and you have been hanging out, having a good time. Uh, this is my friend Stealthy, by the way. Uh, long time friend. <laughs> First time donator. Uh, <laughs> greetings from Germany. Speaking of donation, uh, thanks for recommending that charity. Oh yeah, for sure. That was that was like super cool of you. You were just like, I want a charity, and I was like, okay, well, here's the here's the best one I can do. I was gonna jokingly say, oh, uh, <laughs> the, here I was gonna put my PayPal link in a uh, like a like a URL shortener and just say here, here here's a great charity to donate to but I, I figured that'd be in poor taste so I just I just linked to an actual one so. now, what, what you should have done is 
linked uh, Zach's <laughs> uh, PayPal. That would have been funny. Nah, he wouldn't take it. Yeah. Hashtag get a refund. <laughs> Ooh, large Titan A shard. Let's go. Nice. Big boy status. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> What's up? Oh, no. Stealthy! Oh, I missed. Yeah, they're in grabs. They have... Ow. They're... Fuck you. They're... They have iframes. Oh, I hit the wall. That thing sucks. Oh, I forgot to kindle the fucking bonfire. Oh, well. Uh, oh. Just don't get hit. Yeah, right. That's that's how you really fix it. It's just don't get hit. So, uh, Solaire heals with me. Is that right? I, yeah, I think in the first game, when the host heals, it also heals the summon. Uh, Solaire's on the bottom floor. Oh. Yep. Cool. There it is. Nice to see that we haven't been invaded by a real person. Uh, yeah. We did last time, but we got him, so it's fine. Yeah, totally got him. Got him I for... Lost him, but... uh, no, you didn't. We won. You won. You nope. Me. Nope, we won. We just won. That's it. All right. You ready? You ready to go in? Mm -hmm. All right. Big boy status. We're gonna out big boy the big boy, and we'll be good to go. It's How do nice you... that you get the cute pictures of that. Oh, sorry, you cut out. What'd you say? It's nice that you get to keep the tail cut from the previous encounter. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even check the weapon. I don't know if you would be able to wield it. Ah. Oh, you know I want it though. When you give me an axe that's called, like, the Great Dragon Axe or something like that, you know I need it. That's a massive AoE attack. Uses up most of its durability, but still. Pretty cool. Going right for the souls, baby. It should be, like, an armor set, I think. Unless you already picked that up. Yeah, I did. Uh, game is pretty quiet. Yeah, the game is quiet because it, it'd be harder for me and Stealthy to talk to each other if it was too loud, so. Uh, I can try and turn up the game after the boss fight, though. Alright, this dude's fucking shitty little legs need to go away. Notice that my crossbow does more damage than my axe. Oh, wow. So you're just gonna pelt him? <laughs> I mean, I can swing my axe faster, but this is safer. And once we get to a good amount of health down, I'll switch over to my lightning. Solaire, what are you doing, my homie? Just chilling. Oh, AoE. Run away! Oh no. Okay, we're good. Make sure you don't accidentally fall off the edge. Yeah, I, w I was about to say, I was like, oh no. Solaire's not doing too good. Okay, hang on a sec, I, I got him. 
Wait, it didn't heal him. Huh. Maybe it's not NPCs. There we go. Second tail cut. Yeah, I should have enough lightning that we can just kill him with that. Unless I miss one. Just about. Oh. All right. And then, yep. Yeah. It's Solaire on the magic pixel. Yeah, right. Victory achieved. Twin humanities, a homeward bone. All right. Yo, 25,000 subscribers. Fucking chillin'. Let's go. All right. All, uh, of, all of them to your third. Yeah, right. All right. Uh, Wow. Okay, so here. Let me, let me edit the game audio real quick. I'll gonna gonna whoop. Uh, actually now that I think about it uh, I'm, I'm gonna edit the game audio slightly but then afterwards uh, head back to the bonfire and uh, I think we can call it a stream there because that was a cool ass fight can see why it's my favorite yeah for sure it, it felt like uh almost like an mmo like raid boss like yeah i can see that it was kind of cool like just a bunch of us like trying not to get smacked up by this fucking vagina dragon it's great also oh also I think audio died on st Stealthy's end. Hello? Oh, Stealthy? You there, bud? Yeah, I can't I can't hear you at all. It says you're talking, but I don't hear any audio. Oh, there you are. Hello, hello, hello. All right. It bumped up game audio a little bit, too. For the uh, boss. You remember that area with the channeler and the giant rats? Yes. If the host starts the boss fight, technically a player can hang out on top of there and actually see the boss fight happening. Oh, wow. And if they have the right ranged weapons they can even like shoot at the boss from safety yo yo what is this little eyeball dude eyeball dude whoa like what was that it like disappeared what was it it was like a little eyeball and he had tentacles on top but it was like a little boy it was like a beach ball it might have been a oh that's a vagrant those are pretty rare in the game great and I uh, fucked up, so it's gone. Cool. It's hard, to, it's hard to explain, but I'll send you a video that thoroughly explains just how weird and unnecessarily complex it is to get one in your game. Mm. Great, can't wait. <laughs> it's fascinating. All right, now I'm back in the bonfire. So here's the deal, right? Uh, let's see how many. Oh my God. Okay, I think if I use all of my things, I can get to to uh, one handing this axe. Gonna uh, check out the dragon axe. Oh yeah, I need to check that out. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, da da da. da. Oh my god, this is so fucking beefy. Oh, Shell Shock, welcome, my dude. Uh Okay. 
Okay, wait. Oh, wait, what? The attack damage goes, like, way down. <laughs> Not used to seeing me without a beard? Yeah, I thought it was time to shave, but I'm already getting a little bit of that stubble back, if you can tell. So, And it's only been, like, two days. So, wait a minute. Uh, looking at the stats on this thing, it says the attack power is higher, but my my damage goes like from 210 to 75. 275. If you want to like open up the the actual Twitch stream real quick, you can see. I see 140 and 380. Yeah, but on the on the right, it, aren't the red ones like I don't want those to be red? Oh, that's because you can't actually equip the one on the right, so it has the increased stats. Ah. Yo, this looks sick, though. I want it. All right, I got to work towards that. Uh, do you know what I need to wield that? or? Yeah, if you press the X button on it, it should bring it up. Um, oh, okay. 50. I need 50. Yeah, so you'll need 25 if you want a two-hander. Oh, yeah. Alright, then I'm gonna use some of these Lost Souls. thing they added with the remaster is the ability to use multiple soul items at one time yeah bloodborne had that didn't it yep in the original dark souls one you have to do it one at a time oh fuck that that sounds so, awful so if you had like 10 of them you just have to pop them you know like doing a humanity just one after another gross All right, I don't think that's going to get me to quite where I want. Uh Yeah, I'm still a couple thousand short, like a like a 20,000 short. But I'm going to I'm about to deal like That's what? Six stats. Uh so I think what I'm going to do is two in my endurance and then four in strength. So that way I can just super big boy status this shit. Yeah, that's looking beefy. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. But, yep, gotta switch to that. Yeah! Alright, I'm liking this. Alright. Well, unfortunately, my dudes, uh, that's the uh, the end of the stream for today. Uh, we've been going for about two hours now. Uh, and, I, and I'm gonna hang out with uh, some other friends and do some stuff, so... But uh, stealthy, I always appreciate you joining me for these, my dude. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have to try this again. Uh, what next Wednesday and Thursday? Or are you cool with those? Mm, maybe not at like three or four, but around like five or six. Yeah, yeah, around the five or six time range, we could probably work something out then. Um, yep. But uh, hey, uh, shell shock, uh, uh, Vash, thanks for stopping by. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, two yeah. hours in my gamer stream? Yeah, no way. No way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, normally they go for longer, but it's kind of late, uh, you know. And I and we, I'm sure you, stealthy. You probably have work tomorrow and stuff like that. So. Um, nope. Wait, you don't? Holiday. Oh shit, that's hype. Uh, but I got shit to do anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But anyway, gonna get going. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>